Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So we are going to do this week's installment in my no buy, low buy, or go buy series. This is the series on my channel where I talk about new eyeshadow palettes and whether or not I would no buy, low buy, or go buy them. Occasionally I will sprinkle in a product here or there that isn't eyeshadow palette related if it's something I really, really want and I do have one of those items in today's video. So I'll sprinkle that in somewhere. But basically this is a sort of will I buy it style video which is inspired of course by Samantha March. Um, this is just my way of doing it and I specifically almost always 99.9% .9 of the time focus on eyeshadow palettes. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Amy. This is Dolly Mama Beauty and on this channel we talk about a lot of beauty related things. I love eyeshadow palettes as most people do. I also love drugstore makeup. I love doing tag videos and I have kind of this uh, creative, uh, funky, wonky brain where I do lots of different things on my channel. So I hope you guys will stick around by subscribing. Hit the button right there and the notification bell. And if you do, thanks and welcome to the Dolly Mom Beauty family. So we're going to get right into it and we're going to talk about some of the new palette releases. Now some of these may or may not be available um, right now. If they are available, I will put it down in the description box so you guys know whether or not it's available. Um, some of these are sneak peek teaser photos, um, so I don't have a lot of information. So one of these, uh, the first one I'm going to mention is a sneak peek teaser photo. Okay, so this, and I'm going to scooch just a tad over here, this is going to be the next Glam Light palette, and it's an ice cream trick. And uh, this is just a little small teaser photo that we have. Um, it looks like it has the little ice cream truck outer packaging and you open it and then there's a palette inside. Um, I think it's super cute. I do not like odd shape packaging, but I have to say that I'm really interested to see where that this where this is going. I think a lot of people, if you look at the little shades on the um, on the screen, there are ice cream uh, ice cream colors. One of them looks like maybe a raspberry sorbet, the other looks like mint chocolate chip. So I think it's going to be fun. Um, fruity uh, sherbet shades and lighter shades, maybe a few, you know, like chocolate or a blackberry shade kind of thrown in there to like maybe deepen things up. Have no idea what this is going to look like. I have one, I have two Glam Light palettes. I love the formula of them. Use one of them more than I do the others, but this is something that's super cute. I'm interested to see what it uh, looks like on the inside. So we'll have to just wait and see, but this is a sneak peek teaser photo for the new Glam Light palette, and I think it's going to be called the Ice Cream Dreams palette. So super cute. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely intrigued to see what um, that palette's going to look like, but for now it's going to just be on the no buy until I have more information. So the next one I want to talk about, and I think I saw this on the Indie Mood, is um, this palette from Lunar Sky Cosmetics. This is what it looks like right here. Um, it's, you know, a bright, you know, not pastel neon, but it's it's just colorful. Uh, not a full-on rainbow palette because there's really no greens in there. But um, this is pretty, but this is not something I would go for. It's just the the tones are too similar across the rows. Like the, all those pink one, all those pinks and purples, they're all the same to me. Those two blues on the corner look the same. Um, that whole row of uh, orange and like bronzy shades looks all the same. So not really into this. Um, this one would be one that I would say no buy. So we're just going to move on to the next one. So the one I want to talk about next is the Nikki Tutorials palette with Beauty Bay. Okay, so this is the palette that Nikki Tutorials is doing in collaboration with Beauty Bay. Um, I have seen multiple photos of this and the photo that I'm going to show you uh, this right here, this this is the shadows that are in the palette. You know, like you know, I love I love this. Um, I don't know how you would call it. It almost looks like look, looks like a quilt when they're all like smushed up like this and like broken into the powder. I like I like how that looks, but that doesn't um, totally look like it looks 100% in the rest of the photos. But it's a beautiful palette. Um, for me personally, I think that just looking at it. There are too many light shades in there for me, which you guys know I'm not a big fan of light eyeshadows unless they're going on the uh, inner portion of my lid. Other than that, I'm about all about dark and really pigmented looks, um, deeper outer corners, those kinds of things. Um, but this is really, really pretty. And knowing Nikki Tutorials uh, and knowing just like the couple of looks that she's done with it already, it's a beautiful palette. Um, I don't know when, exactly when it's available, but 
it's beautiful but i'm gonna say no buy um but i like nikki i think she's pretty cool i I'm, I'm not really into the big youtubers too much these days but i've always enjoyed nikki's tutorials and i just love her artistry so uh, i definitely think that's a cool collaboration but i'm gonna say no buy on that so let's just get a really boring and bland one out of the way okay because this is definitely a no buy for sure this is the newest palette palette from nars i don't even know what collection this is i you know it's um additions to the climax family i go click climax woohoo orgasm yay it's you know beating a dead horse with nars as they always do this palette looks like every other palette they do it just uh maybe slightly different tones than the last time but all pretty much all warm neutrals meh not interested in it, it would be a no buy for me um it's just yeah it, it, it's it's available tomorrow it, it's just nothing that's too particularly or it's available today as this goes up so it's not too particularly exciting if you like the nars eyeshadow formula and you want a nice neutral palette then there you go but this if you have a nars palette already chances are you already have these shades because they just repeat the same palette over and over so that's a no buy for me so let's talk about something one piece of this item one piece of this collection is definitely on my go buy list okay and this are the these are the new kaleidos Futurism uh, eyeshadow palettes. Those are those six pan eyeshadow palettes. I have four of them. I'll pull out uh, one of them for you so you guys can see it. This is the sci-fi green. Looks like this. They're little six pan palettes. Well, they have two new ones coming out, and um, I really like the looks of both of them. But I'm more can more interested in the purple one. Um, they're coming soon. They're not uh, available yet, but uh, the eyeshadow palette that is the purple one. I don't know what it's called exactly. Let's see. It's Lunar Lavender. That that one I want. That one that one is going to be mine somehow some way. It's it's on the go by list. That one for sure is on the go by list. I love I love purples and I like that these are the cooler purples. They're you know, they're actually like that more they're not as pinky, they're more purple. Got a couple of neutrals in there as well. So, um that's definitely on the go by list. Now, as far as it's little companion uh which is this uh more of this uh kind of mustardy um browns and yellows and stuff like that that one that i'm not so interested in but because i like the formula so much chances are i'm probably going to get that one as well i'll just get them both together but it's not the second one is more of a low buy than the other one is a go buy so if that makes any sense but you know these these ones i i'm i'm interested in that escape pod palette too but i gotta be really frank with you I, i'm I, it doesn't call to me as much as this purple, this lavender palette does. This is the one that I would really like. I'm clamoring for. It, it's just, it's, 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 it, 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 it is what it is. It's just so good. And I definitely want to put that on my go by list. So the Kaleidos Lunar Lavender, that's on my chat, that's on my list. So I want to talk about something else that's a go by. And it's out of stock right now at Sephora, <laughs> but it was released and it is not an eyeshadow palette but it is a blush from hourglass and it is the at night blush i'm going to put a picture of it on the screen for you it is supposed to be like a brick red luminescent like blush one of their ambient lining blushes i'm wearing one of them today i'm wearing radiant magenta on my cheeks i love these blushes but this one right here it only comes in a full size it's a 44 dollar blush but i am going to buy this blush I I love if there's any color that I have certain colors in my collection or in, in my in my brain that are my favorite colors. I love grays and cranberries and I love like that brick red. That just beautiful brick red. And this is billed as a you know luminous brick red. And then when I saw it, I thought that 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 would be mine. It's one of those things where I I I I it's like a holy grail thing that you've been searching for your entire life and then it finally like is there and now you're like i've i've been waiting for you my entire life um there was also one of their refillable lipsticks that's in the symbol is in the brick red shade i'm tempted by that too i'm not gonna lie because i love brick red that much brick red is brick red Ugh. it's like it's like my 
it's like my unicorn shade. I, I love brick red. So there's that. So I'm going to say that the um, ambient lighting blush and at night whenever it becomes in stock, I'm probably going to treat myself to that. I'm going to treat myself to that. That might be like a birthday present or something um, to myself because, uh, yeah, that's all she wrote. Um, so let me see. Um, let's see what else we got here. What's this? What's this? Okay, so this is the Kylie Cosmetics. Uh, it's like their Sailor. Is it the Sailor palette? Summer collection. And it's uh, it's a Sailor themed collection. Now, listen, I don't really care for Kylie. I don't care for Kim. I don't care for any of them. But some of Kylie's eyeshadow palettes, I don't know what it is about them, but they're so beautiful. They're just, they're so beautiful. And I, I can't, I can't quite put my finger on it. I like the rose golds with the blue and the neutrals that are in there. It's a beautiful palette. I would not buy it, but I would say that if money was no object and I just wanted to buy a new palette and I wanted to try something new and it just, this is actually really, really pretty. This is the kind of palette that I would probably pick up. So I'm not going to say it's a, a, a low buy, but it's definitely pretty and I, I do like it. And, um, you know, I, I get definitely get uh, tongue tied over the those blues, those navies and stuff on there. Those are the kinds of blues that I really, really like, but it's a beautiful palette, but it's going to be a no buy for me. So let's see what else do I got here. Okay, let's talk about this little one from um, Alien Cosmetics. Um, this is the, ba uh, it's a, it's a collab with Baleem Madison Makeup, and it's a collab with Alien Cosmetics. Um, this is pretty. This is really, really pretty. I love the tones of this. I've wanted to try Alien Cosmetics for a while now. Um, they've had a few palettes that have come out. They're just a small indie brand. Um, but I... I like the look of this palette. It's not something I really, really need in my collection because I've got a lot of uh, similar shades to this, but I like I like the color story. I like that you got that black in there. Um, you got a combination of mattes and shimmers. You got the green, you got the purple, you got that kind of mac and cheese, uh, you know, that kind of mac and cheese, craft mac and cheese, orange, uh, orangey uh, yellow up at the top, a nice little uh, brick red in the middle, brown, pink, very, very well-rounded palette. I think it's beautiful, but um, it's going to be a no-buy for me. Um, I, I, you know, I, I'm tempted to put this on the low-buy list because I've always wanted to try Alien Cosmetics, but it's not something that I would ever really need. So we're just going to say no-buy for that one. So let's talk about this one really quickly. It's a restock of the Yas Glitters. Uh, it's bringing back their Autumn Nights palette. So this is the Autumn Nights palette by Yas. Yas, you know, Yas glitters um this is really cute um you know you got the you know the bear you know the berry neutrals with the pop of purple and pop of green yellow um you know very fall very fall appropriate um and it's pretty but um not something that i'd be interested in trying right now so that's going to be a no buy so let's see what else we got okay so we got this these palettes from wet n wild so wet n wild it, it looks like they're doing these um 16 color eyeshadow palettes and when I look at them the first thing I think of I think of the um, The new those BH cosmetics the 16 color eyeshadow palettes from BH cosmetics. That's what these remind me of um, They're really cute. They're really cute. I kind of got off on the wet and wild I kind of got off of the wet and wild train a while ago um, And eyeshadows with them. They I've never really gotten on with their eyeshadow formula too too much So this is not something I would be willing to for you know, you know spend money on just simply because I, 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 it, their eyeshadow quality is kind of hit or miss. I like Wet n Wild's uh, lip products. I like, um, their blushes and stuff like that. Uh, even like their foundation. Um, but this, these two eyeshadow palettes, although they're cute and I, I really kind of like that kind of coffee themed one. Um, cause I, I really like some of the, those cooler neutrals in there. Um, mixed with some of the rosier, you know, those rosier cool neutrals uh, are really pretty and they've got kind of khaki green in there. Um, the other one's interesting too, but um, I don't need either of these and uh, yeah, so I would say I would no buy those as well. So I think I've got everything. 
do I got everything yeah I think that's it well, let me see do I got one more no nope, that's it so there you go guys that is this week's edition of no buy low buy or go buy as you can see this week I had two go buy items um, and a couple of low buy items but I'm really eager for this Kaleidos palettes to come out um, Kaleidos is got a phenomenal eyeshadow formula I love the mattes love the shimmers love the futurism palettes those are really um, uh, my, my favorite my favorite favorite thing um, and I really want that hourglass blush yes that, that blush will be mine I know it's a $44 blush and I normally would never want to pay that much money for a blush but when it's a shade that you know you're gonna just love and probably want to use all the time because you just love the color so 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 much it's totally justifiable and my birthday is coming up so yeah I'm gonna do that I am gonna do that thing so anyway that's it so if you guys like will I buy it style videos and you like my edition of no buy low buy or go buy this week then do be sure to give me a thumbs up that'd be cool you guys are awesome and if you haven't yet already subscribed and you want to do so Go ahead and do that now. You just hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so you're informed of when I post future videos. So that is going to conclude today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. So ta-ta, toodaloo, and bye for now. Take care.